everybody. Today I'm going to be helping you with the lesson, Module 2, Lesson 19 homework. Um, I'm going to be focusing on just the uh, first problem there, because then I think it's pretty straightforward after that. Um, I'm also asking my students to do problem 3, uh, which I'll give it, you a tip for. But let's get started with... Um, let's. Do you actually do one of the harder ones this time as the example, and I'm going to let you work through the easier ones on your own. So I'm actually going to do problem 1F. So let's start there. So the problem asks us to divide and then check using multiplication. And uh, the first one's there as an example, and this is the one I'm going to use as our example, 346 divided by 80. So first thing whenever we look at a division problem is we need to make sure that when we do the standard algorithm that we have it set up correctly, the... Uh, whole, the number that we are dividing, goes inside, and the divisor, the number we're dividing by, goes outside. So 346 divided by 80. Now let's take a quick look and think about some of the things that we know about using the standard algorithm of division. We're looking to see how many times does the divisor go into the whole. Um, that meaning if we take this number, 346, and we divide it into groups of 80, or into 80 groups, um, how many would we get, or how many in each would we get? So, 80, we can't make a group of 80 out of 3, or out of 34, so we're going to have to use this whole 346. Now, if we compare counting by 80s to counting by 8s, um, it gets a lot easier. So let's think about counting by 8s. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Likewise, I can count by 80s. 80, 160, 240, 320. And let me show you how I did that. Here's the first five numbers in the count by 8s. If I counted by 80, because 80 is 8 times 10, we'd have 80. 160. I could also just solve this by addition, but you'll notice that each one of these, each one of these multiples, is the number in the count by eights multiplied by 10. Now, if I had a more difficult number to divide by, um, say 83, I might have to use some other strategies to, to create the count by. But I stopped at 400. Why? Well, it's because I've exceeded, I've gone past 346. So I, I know I've gone too far. What I can see with my count by is that 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 80 is 320. So that's pretty good there. So 4, if I can make 4 groups of 80 in 346. Now there's going to be some leftovers. So let's see, 4 times 80 is 320. And then I subtract to find a remainder. So, tw I have a remainder of 26. Now, we looked at a little bit in class because some people realized, hey, if I start at a decimal point and start um, adding on zeros, I could find a more exact answer to this. But for this homework, I'm going to ask you to stop when you get to a whole number remainder. So, we have four groups of 80 with a remainder of 26. So, that means that after making those four groups of 80, there's 26 left over. Now let's take, talk about how to check. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to box off some of this work to make it a little clearer. And there's my initial problem. And there's the division. Here's the count by that I used. This is going to help me keep my work neat and organized. Now let's check. So, uh, first thing I need to do is I'm going to take the quotient. The quotient is the number that is the result of the division, and multiply it by the divisor. So 80 times 4. And I could do that mentally, or I could use the standard algorithm, but let's just double check with the standard algorithm. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 8 is 32. So 320. Now, that doesn't match yet, because I haven't added on the remainder yet. So, it's very important that I don't just try to add on at the bottom of my multiplication problem. Let's make a separate spot for the addition. 320 plus 26, that's the remainder. 
and 0 plus 6, 2 plus 2, 3, there we go, 346. And look, when I add it back together, it gets back to the whole, 346. So we know that I solved the, the division correctly, because when I multiplied the divisor and the quotient and added back on the remainder, I got back to the number I started with, 346. And that's how it works with all of these. Um, the, the, the trickiest spot is this step here, where we're, we're figuring out um, how many groups of that larger number can fit into the whole. And you can use a count by strategy, you can use a multiplication strategy where you um, guess and check. So if I said four times, three times 80, that would give me 240. And I'm not very close, so I'm going to see if I can get one closer. Four times eight is 320. If I did five times eight, it would be 400. I know I've gone too far. So you're trying to find that closest um, number to use there. And uh, th that, that's pretty much how it works. There's not really a shortcut here. You, you have to kind of think the whole problem through and then do your best to use uh, accurate strategies. I'm going to talk just for a second about problem three, which I also assigned. Um, problem three is a word problem, and there's something a little bit different about it. And all I'm going to tell you right now is that the remainder is super important for answering that problem. Um, so when, when, when you take a look at it, think about what does the remainder mean in that problem. That's my tip. I'll let you solve the math and do the thinking on your own. But make sure you're thinking about what is the meaning of the remainder in that problem. All right, well, I hope this has been helpful. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to get in touch uh, or, or, or leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.